In this video, you are going to learn about the new background material type that has been added to iOS 15, Xcode 13. The main idea behind the material type is that the material will be placed between the two views and it will help to blur the bottom view. Now, since we're talking about bottom and the front and the top, we will be using Z stack because Z stack we can place our views on top of each other. Now, what view do we want? We are going to use the new async image to download an image. If you don't know anything about async image, that's perfectly fine. We are, we have already covered that in one of the other videos, so I definitely recommend that you check it out. But an async image is a new view that has been added to iOS 15, Xcode 13, which will allow you to download an image and then display it on the view. Pretty cool. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to display kind of like a blur background on top of this image. Now, since we are inside the Z stack and async image comes first, on top of async image, I'm gonna go ahead and create an edge stack. You can put something in the edge stack, that's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and say movie, but you don't have to. And now I can go ahead and add some padding to it. I'm also going to add a padding to the actual Z stack. So that's gonna help. Now let's go ahead and give some sort of a frame to our edge stack. So it's a little bit bigger than the actual size of the text. And now we can go ahead and create or apply the background. So just like the background color, now you can actually apply the background material. Now there are many different type of material. If I'm just gonna apply a regular material, you're going to see that it's gonna be a little bit blur. So if I run this, you can see, if you see closely, you can see through the image a little bit, right? A little bit is going on. You can see through the image. So what's going, what's happening is that we have applied the background as a regular material. So that material now sits in between the edge stack and the image, kind of like a sheet of paper, uh, but more of uh, like a slice of paper or a sheet, which blurs out the bottom part or the, the image that was, or whatever, the view that was before it. Now, there are many other materials available also. So if you just search for material, you can say ultra thin material. And if it's ultra thin, now you can see a little bit more context to your background image. Right now you can see that the image over here that you have or the background, well, not the background, sorry, the thin material that you have applied, it's kind of sharp, right? It's not rounded. So you can make it rounded if you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and say in rounded rectangle, and you can set the corner radius to whatever you want so that it is rounded. Now the reason for giving it this capability of rounding image is that maybe you are trying to put this blurred view on top of another view which is rounded, so they both have to match, and that's the reason that you can actually round your, you know, background material. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you can use it with any kind of a view. So if I had a different view over here, if I go ahead and kind of like comment this out. And so if I comment this out and use some sort of another view, like let's say a circle or something, then you can see that the background is a little bit different because it's a, it's a circle. Now I can go ahead and probably do a color dot green over here, filling the circle, and now you can see it works with all the views. So that's actually pretty cool, right? So it doesn't have to be an image. It can be any kind of a Swift UI view. There we go. So this is the material in Swift UI iOS 15. Xcode 13. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have many different courses ranging from core data to Swift UI, 
RX Swift MVVM design pattern for UI kit as well as MVVM design pattern in Swift UI, new course on GraphQL, Combine, Machine Learning, Flutter, and so much more. Check out the links in the YouTube description. Thank you so much, and I hope that you enjoyed the video.